Aquarius, welcome to your reading for reconciliation. Do you give them another chance? Do you give the situation another chance? Do you walk away? What do you do? So this is for Aquarius, dealing with Aquarius, wherever you got Aquarius in your chart. Whatever brought you to this reading, there is something there for you, so be open to receive. I'm going to draw you a couple of cards, I'm going to clarify them, and then end off with some direct guidance for the situation that you are dealing with regarding reconciliation. I'm going to get you some guidance from the universe. Trust that what you get is right, but please do not live your life solely by tarot. So welcome to this reading with Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. If it's your first time here, I'd like to welcome you. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Um, if it's your first time here, I'd like to welcome you. If you're coming back, welcome back. Thank you for your support. And I hope that you will consider going ahead and subscribing. Oh, feels a bit like a meshed up situation over here, right? Eh? Um, very meshed up situation. Very, very much. Um, if you would like me to pray for you or send you some positive vibes, Aquarius, just comment with your favorite heart, your favorite color heart emoji, and I'll, send you, I'll pray for you. I'll send you some positive vibes. You can write the message if you want to. So, first card coming out is the Five of Swords. And so this is definitely that contemplating, do you sort of like, you know, reach out or do you just leave things the way that they are? Um, I could, it could also be a situation, maybe the person is, is reaching out to you, but in more, case, in, in more cases than not, um, I have to be honest with you, I don't fully know how sorry this other person might be, Aquarius, I have to be honest with you. Um, but with that being said, I don't necessarily get that, um, I don't kind of get that this person that, that, you know, that this reading is for, it's not like they're going around and they're like, you know, carrying you in the heart and they're sending bad vibes to you or, you know, or, or like spreading bad rumors about you. Now, this is a general reading, but I don't really get that sort of vibe. I kind of get like they just blissfully carrying on on their own. I do get, and I have to be honest with you, with everything that I get, I feel that there's something here that you need to own up to, okay? So, in, in order for this to work, there is, there is something here that you're going to have to accept here, or, or, you know, accept your part in it, Aquarius. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother. I really wouldn't. Okay? So, if this is, a, and, and I feel that you are ready, because I kind of get a sense here that you may have taken an action, my beautiful Aquarius, that maybe you were not in the strongest sort of, you know, space of mind yourself at that particular point in time. And I mean, this happens to everybody. You know, we are all just human. It can happen to any one of us. But I do get a sense here that um, maybe you were a little self-righteous um, with, with whatever was happening over here. And I, I get a sense here that 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 you might want to you might want to sort of like resolve a, a situation here with someone because there is real love here and you did care for this person and this person they might pretty much still care for you too you know um but i kind of get a sense that and and you know please take this with a pinch of salt but i kind of get a sense here that you want to resolve things um, and, and you want to look out for that because this is how the ego messes up, up, us up sometimes. You want to resolve things. You want to even speak about things, but still there is that little, you know, touch of ego that might not be to your benefit, Aquarius, where you might still want to make them, without maybe outright saying it, still believe or see that, well, it's their fault, you know, like, like it's, it's, it's your fault, that, that, that sort of thing. You know, um, it's, it's, it's kind of like it might make you feel a little bit better. Okay. Two of Cups energy. Again, I can see that there's real love here. I can see that, um, that this matter can be resolved. Okay. 
you can definitely kiss and make up here yeah? uh, but obviously it depends on the um you know on the dynamic of the situation itself but if you are open to finding a peaceful resolution and if you are open to reconnecting with this person in a way that is beautiful again and that is you know sort of like fulfilling your heart and make you feel life because this may even be like your confidant or someone then you know do invite spirit in to beautifully orchestrate a solution here for you so do place your hand on your heart take a nice deep breath say yes to it write in the comments i'm ready i'm open to it i'm ready to receive but um i i do get that you may have heard this person quite deeply and what i can say is that if you're gonna if you're gonna come with a low ball apology to this person then you gotta be prepared for them to to write you off for life okay like 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 you want to know that okay so and if you want to do that you might want to pause and, and ask yourself well why is it that i want to do that or right. half-hearted apology is not going to work there okay i don't say that it's all just your fault but it does feel that you might be sort of like 60 percent more in the wrong and they part of like 40 percent. maybe it's just a misunderstanding yeah you know communication didn't go so well Five of Pentacles, so a lot of, so if you look at this also, five, five, five is new beginnings and two in the middle. So there can be a, um, and again, obviously trust the timing of this reading when you see it. So there can definitely be a space here of making things work, but it does require some real effort. It does require some real honesty um, and it does require owning up to certain things. Okay, and I feel with this person that you are dealing with, I feel that you need to let them know why you did what you did. Okay, I, I feel that maybe you were not in the best space at the time, my beautiful Aquarius, and um, you're gonna have to be honest with that. All right, just being like, Oh, you know, my darling, um, you know, it wasn't the coolest vibe at the time, and and, and yeah, I'm sorry, you know, let's just, uh-uh. Now, I'm not saying that this should become a whole thing, but you're going to at least have to own up to some of, 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 of what's going on over here. Because as I'm saying, I do feel that you may have been the one a little bit more in the wrong here. Okay, let's clarify. You're going to have to let go of something. I don't know, but it feels like... And, and you may have misinterpreted the situation, but you may need to let go of some. So here's the thing. You need to let go of something or someone or, or rather like this. There is some sort of issue here. Might have been a misunderstanding. You either own up with that and move past it so you can let that go. Or you're going to have to let this person go. All right. Um, might have been some false accusation here. And when I say false accusation, I mean like your perception and their perception, maybe it just didn't match, you know? You saw it one way, they saw it a different way, that sort of thing. Let's see. What do we have? Now's a very good time for you to maybe learn to read some cards to get some more guidance in your life. If you're open to it, take a look at the links for my courses in the description. Queen of Swords. I really get a sense, Aquarius, that you're going to have to be very, very careful with your ego on this one. Okay? Um, I don't necessarily get that things will be exactly the way that they were before. All right? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. With that being said, it doesn't mean that things have to be bad because in actual fact they can be better. Because... I kind of get a sense that things were good before, but there was some room for improvement there, okay? And maybe now is a good time to bring about that improvement. You know what I'm saying? Maybe now is a good time for that. Let's see what we have. Temperance energy, such a terrorist energy. Yeah, so you're going to have to be willing to grow a little bit with each other here and to 
see each other's different points of view. So um, both of you are going to have to be willing to budge a little bit. Um, both of you are going to have to be willing to, to see the other person's point of view. And this is a bit of a delicate situation, Aquarius, because... I kind of feel like, you know, as I said, it's like that, you know, you're not that much on that person's mind. You know, I don't really get that you're so much on their mind. I get that they have kind of moved on and they may have accepted that, you know, that, that the two of you are like, you know, you're done with each other. You go your way, they go their way. So clarifying the two of cups, justice energy, Libra energy. So yes, things can work out and this is the this is the thing that you want to know and, and I'm saying this with all honesty. Things can be better than they were before. They really, really can. Um so let's get some deeper guidance in that. And if you're open to that, of course, go ahead, place your hand on your heart, take a nice deep breath, and say yes to it. Things can be really beautiful. Things can be a lot better than they were before. Okay? So that's quite nice actually. Things can be a lot better than they were before between the two of you, um, where it can be a very mutually beneficial um, connection here between the two of you. So I can see that the two of you can be very, very good for each other. Very, very good. Very, very good. Splendidly so. And there is an opportunity to start over. Okay? Most certainly, definitely opportunity to start again. Opportunity to start fresh. Okay, definitely there. But remember, that means that you show up with true honesty and ownership. Clarifying the Five of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the two of you are close soul family members. And soul family members do often, you know, inflict quite tremendous pain on each other because it is about growth. It is about soul growth. It is about expansion. Um... And typically also with soul family members that are this close to each other. It doesn't have to just be romantic. It could be friends. It could be a, you know, um, child parental sort of situation, guardianship, that sort of thing. Um, close connection though. Typically soul families do tend to make up again because you have basically made a mutual agreement to have this situation transpire in this lifetime for the purpose of growth and evolution. Okay, so you may not know where to start when it goes to the next level. So let's see what do we have, and then we're also going to see what is that clarification from the universe for you. But you know, this is a tough one. Wish fulfillment. So this is where I would start if I were you, Aquarius. I would start with how is it that I would want to feel with this person in my life. You know, you may have been sort of like um, believing yourself to thrive there for a while without this person. But now you may actually really realize that you miss them, you know, and like maybe they've got some quirkiness about them. And I feel that you actually, you know, you miss that and you'd like to get that back into your life. And you may not have expected to miss them. You would have been like, nah, whatever, I'm done with them. You know, they can go fly a kite, I don't care. But now you realize that, well, now that, uh, you know, that, that, that things have settled a little bit, you're like, no, I do actually miss them, okay? Um, let's see what is the clear guidance here for you from the universe. So you have got the seven of swords. Have you had somebody whispering in your ear? Because somebody may have been feeling threatened by this connection that you had with this person. And you may have believed that person to come from love and life. I don't think they were. They were coming from unhealed pain. Okay. And the devil energy here, what is it within you that allowed yourself to listen to that person? What is it mirror reflecting back to you? There might be some deep inner healing that you can do on your own here that you need to do. You know, eight of pentacles. Maybe you need to, to focus more on, on, on your soul growth and you know, maybe you want to consider the you want to consider how much 
you want to have that person who was putting your ear actually in your life because they may have been jealous of the connection that you have for this person. But I do get the sense that the two of you, you know, as I said, you can kiss and make up. And there might be something beautiful that might actually grow as a direct result of this experience that the two of you had. Okay. So that is what I have for you, my beautiful Aquarius. I wish you all the best. I wish you luck and prosperity and success. May a peaceful resolution for everybody come about for this. Let me know where in the world we are connecting from. Write it down in the comments. Remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I look forward to connecting with you on the next video.